What's up everybody, in today's video we're going to be discussing the difference between Vegas Pro 14 and Adobe Premiere Pro. I've been getting a lot of questions when people want to purchase these things on my website. Make sure you go check that out as well, I'll leave that in the description. No plug at all. But um, a lot of people have ask me, is there a difference between Adobe Pro Premiere and Sony Vegas uh, any of the series? But in today's video we're going to be discussing the difference between Vegas Pro 14 and Adobe Premiere Pro. So we're gonna go with um, Vegas Pro 14. First, what I think with this one is Vegas Pro is a little bit easier to use. Um, it's kind of easy to use because you have the render is kind of easy to spot. The imports and exports are easy to spot and you can upload straight to YouTube. That's the one thing I like about Vegas. Um, plus I already have my Sacrifier plugins for Vegas so yeah it's really easy to spot then um, Adobe Premiere Pro the downside of Vegas Pro 14 though is it has a longer um, export meaning it'll take longer to render your video it's been proven through many other videos on YouTube go check them out that Adobe Premiere Pro is faster but Sony Vegas Pro is a little bit easier um, it has your um, preview screen then you have your, um, what is this? Your premier, uh, preview set screen. That means um, basically this black screen is uh, the entire video. This is just a selected video that you're putting into. Uh, like if you want, if you have a video like in the imports of your project media, you just take that project media and put it into that one. So it's pretty easy. Um, then. Next thing that I like to do with um, Vegas Pro is that your editing is a little bit smoother, in my opinion. Um, it can be smooth sometimes with Vegas Pro because you know how to maneuver everything and it's a little bit, like I said, easier to use. Uh, your files are very easy to find and your exports are pretty easy to find. Like I said, the downsides only is that it renders very slowly and I don't know it's just sometimes you can get lost in that editing process with Vegas Pro if you have a bunch of files now we're going to Premiere Pro um, here's the difference I think the editing process is so smooth that you can take multiple layers of tracks of all your files that you want to put in a video and it's so simple but uh, downside is it gets a little bit confusing uh, it took me about maybe a good two days to figure out how to export your video you have to go to file then you have to go to export then you have to go to media and then you have to do all this extra stuff um, then you have to export it then I had to find that file it was in my OneDrive I've been looking for that for a day and I eventually found it it was in my OneDrive it was like okay it goes to there automatically I can't change the location of it but the um, good thing about Adobe Premiere Pro is compatible with Photoshop. Um, you can take your Adobe Illustrations and it's a pretty smooth transition. Your Adobe Audition is pretty good. Uh, if, you don't have, if you don't have those things, it does work good with Audacity too. Um, the transitions are pretty cool. Uh, if you don't have Sapphire pl plugins like I do. Um, yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty nice. Which one do I rate better? Uh, it's kind of hard to decide which one is really better. It's depending on your play style of editing. For me, Premiere Pro, I'm more of a Premiere Pro guy because um, it's, I don't know, I just like it. I just like Adobe. I've been an Adobe fan for the longest time. I did get Vegas Pro for intro making. It's kind of, this the one, oh, here we go. Here's the one thing that's really hard to do. Making intros on Adobe Premiere Pro is legit one of the hardest things I have ever done because you need After Effects. Now, I'm going to be purchasing After Effects, but that can be until like under moth because After Effects, I, I want to buy a whole, I hate that renting process. Um, I just got out of my, um, this is my last month for Creative Cloud and I just purchased Premiere Pro straight cash. I was like, fuck it, I'm tired of paying this monthly bill for no reason. I might as well just, I, I spend more on the bill than the actual thing. So I was like, you know what, let me just buy it off of Amazon and you know, just, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing for After Effects. After Effects is about what? 200, 300, depending on a good day, 150. It's not bad. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of things that come with Adobe. 
that you need, like uh, Photoshop and After Effects. And it makes the Premiere Pro uh, process a little bit more smoother. You have a lot more things. I always want to get Lightroom. Lightroom is really good for touching up on your photos, and that's pretty cool. Uh, overall, I'm more of Adobe guy. Uh, I only the reason I got Vegas Pro is because of the website I started, um, and it's really easy to make intros on Vegas Pro. Really easy. Like it only takes you about if, a, if to make a really good intro, it takes about one two days. And it's pretty cool. Adobe Promo, uh, Premiere Pro, you can do it, but first you have to get the picture. You have to edit it on Photoshop. No, you have to go to Adobe Illustrator, make the logo or whatever. Then you have to go to Photoshop. Then you have to go to Lightroom. If That's not optional. But, I mean, it's optional, but you don't really have to do it. Uh, then you have to go to Lightroom. Then you have to go to After Effects. And then use Premiere Pro to edit the entire thing. That's a five... Uh, five-step process but is one of the best results it's a better result than Sony Vegas but Sony Vegas is a really good now because they have 4k resolution and stuff like that anyway guys um I hope I answer all you guys question about Premiere Pro versus Sony Vegas I'm more of a Premiere Pro guy but I use Vegas for intro making, outro, stuff like that. I do edit some videos sometimes on Vegas when I don't feel like spending hours and hours on Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, I only use Adobe Premiere Pro for my main source of YouTube. I only use Vegas rarely, uh, depending on what it is. If I want a quick video, I use Vegas. If I want a well detailed video, I use um, for recording my uh, capture and stuff, I use Camtasia. Then I take Camtasia, Camtasia and the audio, then take it to Adobe Premiere Pro and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, go check out the Never Went to News video I just made a couple hours ago. And guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new. We do daily Never Went to News daily, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and sometimes the weekend. Anyway guys, enjoy enjoy this video and peace.